Hello all. I've seen a couple individuals in the forums post uh, little videos to show how they use their particular programmers. So I figured I would also um, annoy everyone and throw my hat into the ring and show them a, a couple options on the picket too, which are quite useful when programming a chip or programming multiple chips. Um, I, I found these options when I was pro doing the freestyle co-op and had a little over 60 picks to program. Uh, so I figured I'd do a little short video up, and maybe this would also be beneficial um, to others. Now I've, I already have the Picket 2 attached to the machine, and a and a and a Picket and a Pick installed onto the extender. And I'm going to launch the software next. And as you can see, it's found the programmer, and it's found that I have a Pick ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a hex file. I have the hex file successfully imported. And if you click, the options I wanted to show you were if you click under Programmer at the very top, and again, this is the Picket 2 programming software, there's an option. That make sure you check Verify on Write, and there's another one called Write on Picket button. I like having both these checked for a couple of reasons. One, once you have the hex file imported, you have your pick installed, and you're ready to go you could click write right here and it'll go through a write process and automatically go through a verify process but what I found useful is that if you have this option here as well right on picket button there's a little button on top of the picket that if you push it will start the write procedure for you so you don't have to keep coming back with the mouse and clicking on write each time you change a chip and I'm just going to show you here I'm going to push the button on the picket, and you'll see it says writing, verifying, and then programming successful. So it's just a matter at that point of literally changing out the chip and continuing to hit the button. And I hope individuals and, uh, can find these little uh, tips here useful. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.